Uh, I mean, he doesn't move around that well, but that shouldn't be a surprise. If you go back to 2018, the year he played at Southern Cal, even before he hurt his knee, uh, he played an entire season, negative 140 yards rushing. The excuse maker said, well, that's because he had a terrible offensive line. He got sacked a lot. Well, when you can't move around the pocket or scramble, you might get sacked a lot. So you are seeing that. So is he perfect? No. Is he elite? or not? No. But I don't see how anybody could have had those expectations. But compared to what we've seen this year from the quarterback position at UGA, this is clearly a million times better. A million times better. So Kirby better come up with some kind of good reason or excuse of why it took six, seven games into the season once the season was over before we finally put him in. Uh, but he's played great. Let's call it like it is. He's played great. He's not the reason uh, this game is tied or whatever it is at halftime, 17 to 17. We have one yard rushing in this game. One yard rushing. And uh, we got to fix that in the second half. Uh, uh, and, and the defense, here, here's what I understand about the defense. And I hear, I've heard Kirby say this a million times. You know, this is what we do. We play We play the tight man coverage, the bump and run, and, you know, if the man plays, the, if the man uh, covers the receiver like he's supposed to when we get beat, well, then you just get beat. That's going to happen sometimes. I, I get that. Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. But that's not what we're doing. We're playing some kind of weird, uh, it appears to be like a, a 3 2 6 defense. We're rushing three, dropping eight into coverage, which is great, but how come on every single play, there's the Mississippi State wide receiver, and there's nobody within five or six yards of him. Seven, eight yards cushion on, on a third and two. A nine, ten yards cushion on a third and six. I mean, this is it, it looks like the defense you would play in the fourth quarter of a game when there's five minutes to go and you're up by 20 points. And you're trying to just keep a team from hitting the big play, but you're letting them march slowly down the field. I, I haven't seen, I've never seen Georgia run this defense before, and it's clearly not working. So I expect some serious adjustments to be made in that regard at halftime, Kirby, if you're watching this video, which, let's be real, you are. Uh, make whatever adjustments you need to make and shut this shit down in the second half. Mississippi State is an absolute dumpster fire of a team. They got two damn wins. You trot out the black jerseys because the season is over to try to make everybody feel better about themselves, and then this is the product you're giving me defensively. When J.C. Daniels is out there playing the, the, the best quarterback we've – I mean, this is the best quarterback play we've seen in a long time at UGA, to be honest. To be real honest, a long time. I'm not getting into the Fromm thing, but Jesus Christ, that last touchdown he had to Jermaine Burton, the, the touch he had to put on that pass, I mean, it was unbelievable. Some of the, uh, some of the uh, passes to uh, Pickens. And, and, and he's had some underthrows. I'm, I'm not on here blowing smoke. You guys know I, 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 I've had plenty of criticisms – of JT Daniels all summer long. He underthrew a couple of passes. It is what it is. But listen, I'm, you can't compare JT Daniels to Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields or Kyle Trask or Mac Jones. That's pointless. You got to compare to Stetson friggin' Bennett, who's like three foot five, or Dewan Mathis, who I, who I don't think has ever played football before until this year. Honestly, I don't. I don't believe. I, I think the high school highlights are. So it's an imposter. Uh, it's, it's one of those deep state, uh, vi deep fake videos or whatever. Uh, there's no way that's him. The guy's hot doo-doo. JT Daniels looks good. Can we get the guy some help, though? Can we run the one yard? Can we run the ball? Can we get some stops on third down on defense? Can we help this guy out, this JT Daniels? You know, usually it's the defense bailing the shit quarterback out. Now it's the quarterback bailing the defense out. What is going on here? Uh, this is the worst Georgia team since 2016. No, it's not even close. Uh, we better find a way to pull this game out and win, though, because it, losing to Alabama and Florida... It's not acceptable, but I can, I can understand. I can deal with that. Those are top ten teams, potential playoff teams, really good teams. Mississippi State ain't that, so I don't expect to lose this game or the next game to South Carolina or the or Vandy or, or, or Mizzou or whatever the hell else. So get it together at halftime. I'm happy with what I see from JT Daniels, and uh, you better find a way to win this game. So I, I mean. I shouldn't be this riled up at halftime against Mississippi State. JT Daniels Christ, though. No.